Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Nancy. Thank you for joining me again tonight. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I could not do this without having you supporting me. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe before you go. Give this video a thumbs up and click on that little uh, red subscribe button right there as I would love to have you come back and visit again. And today, as you can see, I am doing a Scentsy haul been quite a while since I showed a haul from my Scentsy, uh, Scentsy buying uh, sprees. I've still been showing like the wick boxes here and there, but um, I haven't shown you the hauls in a while. So this is long overdue and I just wanted to get on quick and do this when my hair was looking, uh, well, fairly decent, not perfect. But anyway, so in February, um, I only made one big purchase, uh, it wasn't even a really big purchase, but um, my daughter Raina uh, was doing a special in February um, for like a mystery hostess. So anytime you spent $20, you got like an entry into being able to, to win the grand prize. So I ended up buying uh, two of the small, the mini uh, Scentsy warmers that uh, you know go into like the light sockets uh, uh, against the wall and with that so I got the package deal so I got two of those and six of the uh, bars and I did get some new scents that uh, had just been had just come out last month so I'm excited to uh, smell those for the first time I'm going to try to describe them I'm not always the best at describing things but I will give it a shot uh, so anyway, that got me, I think, three entries into uh, winning, and I actually won uh, the grand prize, which ended up being uh, like $83 or so in some free product, and then three half-off prices. So let's get into what I got with the warmers. So I actually got these two mini warmers, and uh, this one, it's a nice sparkly gold. They had gold and silver that they came out with uh, this month, or last month. And I ended up getting the gold, but I will probably end up going back and getting the silver. And I don't always have the best luck showing you these um, in person when I light them up. But again, they just uh, go into your, your wall socket like this. So we would just plug that in there. And this is where it usually gets widened out. But I think maybe if I go in real close, you can just see that gold sparkle and suppose you've got a wall socket but your wall walls like this your, your plugs are going the wrong way so since he does have this little sw switch right there so that you can actually turn it and have it go upright I didn't have it locked in before but that's how that would work so that is one of them that i got and this is called the glitter gold warmer and again it came out in gold and silver so i will probably be getting the uh, silver one before too long just so i can have a matching set the next one i got is called the uh, garden mil garden garden mini warmer and it's got um, little etchings in the glass and so when you turn it, it's not showing up on camera, but it's like a light green and some blue. And this came with the uh, same type of holder like this. But I also have uh, a couple of these running around the house. So this is just so you can put it on a table if you didn't want to put it on a wall. So just uh, perfect for a little nightstand or something if you just want a little light. So let me try to plug that in and see how that works. And again, I think maybe my secret to doing this is getting it up maybe closer to the light. I did change my ring light out for an umbrella light, so I'm hoping that helps a little bit. With that, you can just kind of see how the etching reflects. But of course, I was just holding it back like this and it's just like a white blob for everybody. Alrighty, so let me get those unplugged. And then I got um, six cents with that, six cent bars. And if you're not familiar with the Scentsy bars, there's eight cubes in here, and you're just going to bend this back and forth, and then pop out the cubes that you want. All you have to really do is just break 
just a little bit right here so it's like perforated all the way around so it makes it very very easy to uh, break them apart and then pick out the cubes that you want and I have to show this cousin my daughter just uh, really hates it when I do that so anyway you gotta you gotta bug people when you can right so this one is uh, sugar and I've had this one before and it's a uh, it's a really nice fragrance I've got this in hand soap in the hand lotion and I just love it and uh, it's like lemon drops and uh, like a cotton candy it's very sweet but it's still very gentle and mild so it's perfect for like a bedroom or or guest bathroom so just a really nice light fragrance and that one again is called sugar next one I got is ocean and again this is another one of my favorites and uh, ocean and this one is a it's a stronger fragrance so I love this in in the office at work I love it uh, around this great room in, in here. It's just a really, really nice scent. I've uh, Again, I've had this in bath bomb. No, I don't think I've had it in a bath bomb, but I've had it in um, the washer whips and I love it in my laundry. Um, I love washing my sheets in the ocean and they just smell just so nice and fresh. Oh, I just love this one. And this is like water lilies and like fresh ocean air. It's like you and it, this one just always reminds me of um, going to the Jersey Shore to visit my brother and uh, when he was married and uh, uh, he would still probably still be married today. Um, he passed away a while ago, but uh, and his wife Joan, my sister-in-law, and uh, her parents owned a beach house and uh, we just used to love going there as kids on the Jersey Shore. It was just a quick walk over the dunes and of course now you can't work on, walk on the dunes so there's like boardwalks and things to get over there. But we used to love to go and um, they had like an upper deck and we used to love to sleep on, on the deck in a sleeping bag. Um, even though they had like a third story that was just full of bunk beds, we just loved uh, just sleeping out on the deck and just smelling that ocean air all night. So this one is always going to remind me of my brother Bill, my sister-in-law Joan. So on to some of the new stuff. And this one is called Mojito Mambo. So this is going to be a first sniff for me. It's a pretty green very minty so this reminds me of um, so it's a, like a mint drink so I can smell like maybe rum lime and like a something bubbly maybe just a soda or maybe that's just the rum but um, so minty and lime and soda and rum so it's kind of like a, a drink it's very nice I think this will be nice um, in the summer just a nice refreshing smell so I think this one would still be good for work and in, in my office at work and be good around the house. So Mojito Mambo. Very nice. This next one, it's pink cotton. And this is a pretty light pink. And this one, it uh, reminds me of like the clean breeze and clothesline, but it's a little bit lighter than that. So it's like a fresh cotton, uh, fresh cotton sheets that you, you washed and they're hanging out to dry but uh, something fruity um, or maybe it's like some light berry smell and uh, some vanilla and vanilla and sugar mixed in it's it's, a, it's sweet but it's not overpowering but you can definitely smell the the uh, linen behind it too kind of reminds me that this would make like a body spray or something that it's it's kind of like a perfumey scent at the same time if that makes sense so it smells like something that you could make this into a body spray and it would probably be a nice seller. Very pretty. Uh, next one, it's a new one for me. It's prickly pear and agave. And you would think because this is such a nice hot pink that it would be pink inside, but surprise, it's green. And uh, prickly pear. I remember going to visit my mom when she had moved to Arizona and we had prickly pear margaritas and they were awesome. Um, so this one it's very fresh. It's fruity but I can't quite tell what it is. Maybe like a light light citrus but not anything heavy. 
and just uh, it's very sweet but um, maybe some greens in it but I think this one's going to be a nice one to uh, to smell throughout the house so looking forward to smelling that one this next one is be my honey with a B E E for like um, honeybee. This is a nice, kind of like an orangey yellow one. Oh my gosh, it shouldn't, you can smell the honey right away. So you got that sweet honey smell, but a little bit more than that. Maybe jasmine, some kind of flower. And something fruity, maybe pineapple, but I'm not sure. But, but you can smell the honey. The honey is, is really um, the strong scent in this one. So this one, I think I'm going to love to uh, melt this one again in my warmers. Okay, so on to my free stuff. So I got like $80 or so in some free merchandise. So what I ended up picking out, and I don't have them here, so I... My uh, jelly bean grandchildren love to collect these uh, Scentsy Buddies. So they already had Mickey and Minnie. And so I picked out Donald and Daisy Duck. And uh, Raina's uh, sent it right over to them. So when it, when it came in. So I'm hoping that they love them. I, I know they love all their other Scentsy Buddies. They come with like a little scent pack that you uh, unzip and put in. So when they hug them at night, they got their, their favorite fragrances. Or they go for a ride in the car. They can take them with them. And it's just a nice, fresh fragrance little buddy that they can have. And then I got three half-off warmers. This one I got is called Solitude. I'm going to try to plug it in before I lift it up. Could be a mistake to do it that way, but... So this one, it's like a Christmassy themed one. So that's a, like a nice tin with different snowflakes cut out in it. It's got this little pot here where you would put your wax to melt it in. And let me see if I can get this up close enough so that you can see the snowflakes. And this one just reflects all, all around the room when it when it comes out. I had this in the kitchen to try it out earlier. And it was like up on the ceiling and all the, the way around the wall. So this one I'm going to love putting this out at Christmas time. And another one I got that was holiday themed. And that way if I get holiday themed ones, I can put them away so I don't have them all. What do I do with it now? So this one is an element warmer. And my... Uh, Oh, it's a falling off my plug. So this one doesn't have a light in it. So this one just uh, warms it up. And I think this one was called the Calavera one. So a nice one to put out for Halloween. And this one, his skull comes off and it's got like the holes to get the fragrance out. Oh, there is a light in here. I forgot about that. And uh, this is the pot that it would go in. And this one... I can get my plug in. I think I'm putting my plug in backwards. And the big one goes here. So this one he has uh, holes on the side of his skull. So let me do this. So he does light up like that, which is cool. For some reason, I thought he was an element one. Let's put his skull on. So he is going to look really cool with my Halloween decorations this year. I love uh, decorating for, for the holidays. It's just, uh, just kind of fun. I didn't do it for quite a while, and now it's uh, fun to get back into it. This next one, and again, this is going to be the pot on this one for your melting pot. And this is called Rustic Lodge. So it's like uh, some barbed wire or chicken wire and some really thick glass. And then these antlers on the side. So let me, and this one's a little dangerous for me because this one comes off like that. So... I don't know why it's, but I get wires all tangled for some reason. I start out and they're nice and neat, 
And by the time I finished, I'm a tangled mess. Alrighty, so this is him. Let's turn him on. Let's see if we can get him close enough so you can see some detail. And I like this one because it does throw off a lot of light. So he will probably end up um, in the dining room section of this room under the hutch on the buffet so that'll throw off a lot of light and I'll probably take it into work for a while and put it on one of the uh, the bar in, uh, over by the uh, stone fireplace that we have the field stone fireplace and I think that'll look nice especially where we have a lot of men so I will put that at work for a while and then it will make its home over on the hutch Alrighty, so that's pretty much my show and tell, but I did get uh, another one a while ago, too, that I didn't show anyone, but you, you may have seen it on the back of my bed. Um, just in some of my clothing videos, my clothing hauls. This one's called Around the World, and I actually bought him to put on my desk at work, and the globe actually spins. It looks like there's a drawer, but it's just uh, for show. And this one is just the element warmer. So this one, you would put your wax in here. There's some holes at the top of this to let the fragrance out. So if you've got, um, you know, a husband or a boyfriend or fiance, maybe they, you want to have something on their office, uh, their desk at work, or maybe in their den at home, this might be something that they would like on theirs. So anyway, that is my Scentsy haul that I got in February and some free items that I got. So I'm already, they've, they just came out with a slew of, of new warmers and scents. So I'm uh, looking forward to trying all those. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll leave, in case you don't have a Scentsy uh, consultant, I'll leave my daughter's website and anything below if you have any questions. Um, and if you leave something for me, I will try to answer it. If not, I'll get it to my daughter to answer for you. And if you have a Scentsy consultant, that is pretty cool. I'd love to hear if you've, if you've just picked up some new warmers or fragrances and what you think about them. So anyway, hope to chat again to you, with you soon. Don't forget to click on that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and we will chat again soon. I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic day and a fantastic week. And we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.